show you guys today is how to use interpolation on Excel. So essentially what interpolation is, is it allows us to find a value in a data set that's not listed. So for our data set we have this chart and it's a relation to the temperature outside to the people at the beach. So our chart is only in multiples of 10 um, for our x variable, which is our independent variable. Um, so what happens when we want to know the temperature um, that's not a multiple of 10 and how many people are going to be at the beach? And so that's when interpolation comes in. So for our example, we're going to be using the temperature 83 degrees, and we want to know how many people are at the beach when it's 83 degrees. Um, and as I mentioned previously, that's not on our chart. And so we're going to use interpolation to figure that out. So there's three ways to do it um, that we have right here. First is the equation, which is you see to the right. Um, the next are forecast and trend. And one thing you'll notice at the end of this, the equation is less accurate than forecast and trend um, because forecast and trend um, will take in uh, to account the entire data set. Um, equation, um, as you can see, it's only using y1, x1, y2, and x2. So we'll go ahead and get started on the equation. Um, since our value um, that we want to get is 83 degrees, um, we're going to be looking between 80 and 90 degrees. So we know it's sitting somewhere in there. And so what we can do here, just to make it simpler, we can go ahead and put a border around our figure around these variables, so it makes it easier to understand. So this is x1, x2, this is y1, this is y2. So when we're doing the equation, our y right here, which is our interpolation value, that is essentially going to be our box. Um, so this whole equation will give us the value, the interpolation value is this box. So this box will be our y, so we do not include y in the equation up here. So just do equals. So now we're going to be looking at y1, this will be our y1 plus our independent variable, which is our x right here, and that's what we want to find. And we will subtract x1. We want these in parentheses. And then we're going to multiply it by y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we're going to have to do a double parentheses right here. So that way the program is to do y2 minus y1 first. So we go y2 minus y1 parentheses. We'll do a backslash for divide. We're doing divide right here. Divided by parentheses x2 minus x1. We'll do a parentheses and then another one right there to finish off the expression. And we'll hit enter. And right there. And so basically what this equation has told us is that at 83 degrees Fahrenheit, we can expect to see about 96.2 people. Now, a much simpler and a quicker way to do it is forecast and trend. And so we'll do the same thing. We'll come over here, hit equals. You always do an equals before you start a function. So type in forecast. You can click right down here. And so it walks you through it. So it wants our x value, which again, our x is our independent variable. We'll come down here, 83 degrees, comma, our known y's. So we come over here to our y's. And this is what I was mentioning before. Forecast and trend will use the entire data set, uh, which will create a more accurate trend line. Our equation right here was only using these values. So we have our, our known y's, do another comma, and our known x's. We'll put a parenthesis to finish that off and hit enter. And as you can see, it was able to grab a much more accurate number. Um, both very similar in this. And so because of their similarity, um, this shows that this is a, a very linear trend that it's following. And so we'll do the same with trend line. So do equals, we type in trend. This one's a little bit different. First, your known y's, comma, then our known x's, comma, and then our new x, which is our independent variable. That is down here, 83. 
and we'll cap off the parentheses, hit enter. And as you can see, this is the same value right here. Um, and so that there is uh, your interpolation um, of how many people would be at the beach for a temperature of 83 degrees, and that is not listed. Um, so again, interpolation is just a way for us um, to, to find a dependent variable based on an independent variable. And this is essentially the program Excel creates a trend line and it follows that trend line and, and finds your values along the trend line. So I hope that helps. Um, have a nice day.